Now, Joanna Hughes. Monique, I don't think I was being unfair when I suggested that even she might have been surprised to find herself third highest qualifier in a field of this quality. No, that's right, Steve. Beam is certainly not Joanna's strongest points. She's usually more explosive on the vault and the floor. It does say something about the fact that she has arrived back on the international scene to make the final on the beam. Good work from Joanna. I would have guessed that Joanna's coach Fiona Bird would be feeling just as nervous as I am sitting here. There's absolutely nothing the coaches can do now. They've done all the hard work and training. They can just sit back and watch. Now the step back there is it that wasn't will supposed be, to be there. Yeah, that will be a deduction. As will that wobble. Often throughout the beam routine, the girls can hear in their mind as if the coach is speaking to them, although they're actually not in training. They're the coach will often say, point your toes here, jump higher here. And you often go through that mentally as you perform your beam routine. Big pause before the dismount for Joanna Hughes. Well, beam not being her strongest point, she'll be really happy with that. Because at National she had more than one or two problems with the beam. Yes, yeah, she had a bit of bad luck there on beam at Nationals. She's even a little bit crooked there but pulled it straight on the last flip. This is where we saw that step back where the judges ruled the dark. And got through the dismount pretty well. And for Joanna Hughes, 9.35 on the beam, has her currently in second place.